Kosei Akoto. Okay, and where are we right now? We are at uh, Dinko Cultural Art Studio. This is the home base for Asa, my second home. Um, I've been a dancer since the age of three. I was, the plan was to go to um, undergrad for dance, and then when I got kind of into the program, it was just, I found more of um, a need for rehabilitation amongst dancers and athletes. So instead of dance, I went to um, the sports medicine program. Then in college, you know, trying to pay for tuition, I got a job at a local sports club, just teaching. I was on my way to finishing my degree, so I wasn't training just yet, but I decided to just, group fitness was booming, so I decided to create this African aerobic kind of class and then after school I thought I didn't need it anymore but apparently I did so it just kind of went on from there. Asa is um, it's strength training, it's core training, it's metabolic conditioning, it's culture. All we do is dance to African music. We infuse African movements, and it's an actual program. Each track, you target a different muscle group. And then at the end, uh, the last couple tracks, it's a metabolic conditioning format. And then you've got um, some alignment drills for the, the cool down. When we did the clinical trial, it wasn't just people losing weight. We had people who um, increases in bone density, we had decreases in joint pain, we had a few people who their physicians took them off their diabetes medication. So it's really, it's science based and then it's culturally influenced. Right. Music videos. It's um, <laughs> it's interesting working on music videos. I like the choreographic aspect of it. That's my favorite part. In all honesty, it, I never intend to be in the video. I usually I usually just go in thinking I'm the choreographer behind the scenes, but I'm always really humble to be requested in front of the camera. So. I think I honestly just like the partnership more than the video itself. I just like the atmosphere and just a bunch of artists on set. The video is great, but I just, I like the people. So the last, the most recent certifications I'm working towards, um, Cancer Fitness, I've had um, quite a few individuals in my life, mentors, uh, family, friends, as we all have passed from some sort, some form of cancer. When I went for my undergraduate degree, a lot of my studies was in uh, program design. And what we found, or what I came across, is that exercise is highly underrated in the medical field. And with cancer rehabilitation, especially with chemo, they kind of, they really just rip your body apart when you're in chemo. And they have found that the one thing that helps you to rehabilitate and helps you to keep the cancer from coming back is regular exercise. It's an intricate program, unique program design, but there's no one really pushing to create a program for that. And welcome so, to one side, come together. Right, there you go. Has anybody came to you and said that you inspired them? They have, I've, I had somebody do that this morning. It's, it's always a shock when someone say that, says that I inspired them. For me, it's, you know, I'm just, always have my head down, always working, I'm always grinding and pushing. I never really look up to see exactly what I did. So when someone says that they're inspiring, I'm like, oh, <laughs> really? So what is next? That everyone always asks me what's next, and I'm gonna be completely honest, I have no clue. Mm -hmm. Um, again, none of this was planned. I thought I was going to graduate, get a job as an athletic trainer and just go. None of this is planned and I've come to accept that. So I'm really just taking it day by day. I'm kind of scared when I get a new idea because that means more work and it's probably going to end up being another company. Um, but it's just to, I think it's not really what's next. Everything that I'm doing is what I want to be doing. I just want to do a little better okay. and a little bigger.